I'd like to address a basic point that I see within this video that I'm placing this as a um, anti-hate response to, which in that video, the person claims that we have free choice to, in essence, choose what thoughts we have and to, for example, not, and the specific example used was to not watch the news with all its negativity, which then would stress us out. However, this argument, which is basically the New Age philosophy, is that one can choose to be positive. And therefore, if we all chose to be positive, then we would all feel better and, and, and live a better life. However, that's not the case, because if you look at it simplistically, mathematically, if you accept positivity to exist, then you by default also accept negativity to exist, because if you don't accept negativity, if what I mean to say is if negativity wasn't implied by positivity, then positivity would have no meaning. It would have absolutely no meaning because positivity only exists in polarity with negativity. That's, for example, how energy moves. That's how batteries operate. That's how electricity moves in circuits. It goes from a, um, basically from a negative to a positive and then back and forth. You can't have an existence with only positivity. Because if you really look at it, the positivity, especially in this video, that this is a response to, the positivity being discussed is a positivity in opposition to, for example, the negativity in the news. A negativity that is actually accepted. And therefore, the positivity is a, in essence, a ignoring of the negative. So that positive actually has no value except to put to um, discard or to hide or to push away what you consider negative. It's not actually dealing with what it is you perceive to be negative. Which you can do in two ways. You can look at it from the perspective of you're actually defining something as negative and positive, but also what is it about that negative thing that you don't like, which is what, what, why, what is it about it that you don't want in your own life? Because if you simply strive in your own life to be positive and you don't actually take responsibility and address the negative that exists, you're not actually dealing with it. You're not actually solving it. You're simply suppressing it and using something that you consider beautiful and positive to cover it up. And if you really look at the things that are defined as positive honestly and be honest with yourself about it, it's completely arbitrary. Why is, for example, an intricate, um, complex crystal defined as beautiful? Why? Why is that more beautiful or more positive than something that is not complex or something that's not um, in a specific ordered pattern? It's, it's completely arbitrary. And it's, in fact, only defined as an opposite. If you look at it at another from another perspective, if if we have people in this world who are only focusing on the positive in their own life, there's always going to be people who experience the negative. Because if the negative weren't there, there would be no reason to focus on the positive. I mean, you have to agree with that. That's just that just makes sense. It makes more sense to, instead of striving in your specific life 
to find things that you consider positive, which again is just a hiding from the negative, to rather seek out those things that are negative and solve them and, and get to the bottom of why they exist and solve the actual problem that exists. Because perhaps there are those in this world who aren't able to think positive. And if you look at it from a mathematical perspective, not everyone can be positive. Because that's not how it works. That's not how positive and negative works. You can't have everything positive, because then there's an imbalance. The only way you can get rid of that negative is to address it and to solve it. And to do that, you actually have to give up the positive as well. But it's actually easy once you realize that the positive is only there as some sort of comfort in the face of having to deal with something negative. But also, that's completely taking self-responsibility out of the equation, because honestly, why do you need something positive, in any case, not to face the negative? Why do you need something outside of yourself that you define as positive or beautiful to make the negative go away? Why aren't you able just to stand in the face of it and not let it bother you or not let it affect you? That's actually indicating a weakness within yourself that you're actually accepting and allowing because you're choosing to focus on the positive according to the logic. You're choosing it. You're actually choosing to accept and allow weakness within yourself. What would be actually... It, well, I don't want to say positive because it's, it gives the wrong impression because it's not about positive and negative, but what makes sense to do is to rather focus on that which is best for all because in that equation, everyone can have what's best for all, mathematically. Mathematically, not everyone can have positive because for positive to exist, there must be a negative. And the more positive there is, the more negative must exist. The only way for us to stop all the negative and therefore eliminate the need to constantly strive for positive is to simply give to each what's best for all. Because you're actually giving of who you actually already are. You're not having to become something else. You're not having to go out there and think positive thoughts. Rather, you just give of who you actually are as life. And you give to each what they need as life and what they require and what you would have liked. And in that sense, now you're giving, and everyone else is giving, and it's a continuous giving. There's no longer a, a reaching for something else, and then having to basically stand on the top of someone else to do that. Because that's in essence what it means to be positive in this world. It means to focus on the things that you want. But you don't consider where those things come from. You don't consider the fact that to be positive requires money. Because if you're starving to death, you can't be positive. Because there's nothing positive about that. Because starving to death would be your actual definition of negativity. Wouldn't it? And there's nothing you can do to think, to choose to think about, that would stop you from starving. Because starving is something physical. It's a physical requirement of this, of how we exist on this earth that we have to eat. And the very fact that you would choose to focus on positive things would imply that you already have, for example, um, certain, things, certain requirements met, such as food and shelter and clothing. At the end of the day, when I look at it, the individual who apparently believes they can choose to be positive in the face of what they consider negative in this world is simply just scared and hiding from reality and not wanting to stand up and take responsibility and actually do something of real value with their life. And I mean real value. And I guess what it boils down to is not wanting to give. Not wanting to... Like, actually expecting that reality, the nature of reality, is such that you have to simply take, take, take what you need and what you want. And in essence, we're really looking at, like, your own nature and my nature and the nature of existence and everything and why would we accept our nature to be that of having to take and to to take what we want and take what we believe is ours and our right and what we believe is positive why not I mean that in itself implies that we have a lack 
and that we're weak because we need something outside of ourselves. What if instead we recognized that inherently we're all here and that our value is an inherent intrinsic value which is derived from the fact that simplistically from the fact that we exist. And if we have value in our own existence, then obviously we can give of ourselves because we, are of something, we have something of value to give, which is life, because that's who we are. 